Today I want to show you how to make Ivor's Axe from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. The first step of course is to model your axe if you want to print it. For this go to Google, search for reference images and then jump into Fusion 360 and model the axe. I decided to go for a split version as I wanted to print this X on the Prusa Mark 3S, which has a maximum C height of 200 millimeters or 210 millimeters. So the X handle in total has to split in several pieces. The most trickiest part was designing these ornaments on the X head, on the handle, and making them as close as possible or as close as possible I can to the reference images. After completing these files I of course had to print them and I made three different prints. The first print was printing the X head and here I had several issues. I first didn't recognize where the issue was. I had just some weird layer inconsistencies um, some over extrusions I thought so I first of all was thinking it was something with the infill and the outer um, perimeters um, but after four or five prints I actually found the issue that the tip even if this is printed in PLA lifts off the build plate so I yeah was kind of stupid at this point and I changed the files to print with a brim and this solves the, solves the issue pretty perfectly. If you can't design the axe on your own, then you of course can go down in the description below and check out the link to my Etsy shop. There I have uploaded the files for the axe and you can print yourself one. If you don't have a 3D printer, but you still enjoy the axe, you can also go down to the description below to my Etsy shop. I offer um, ready to assemble kits of these prints as you can see it right here with the grip in wood filament printed. So you basically only have to glue them together and if you want to add some details just paint over it. Here you can see all the pieces which you need for the axe. The axe in total is about 60 centimeters long and as said split in different pieces mostly regarding the handle and all pieces have been printed in PLA with 0.2 millimeter layers, two or three outlines and 20% in film to give it a little bit of weight. Here you can see one of my first iterations of the handle. You can see that it's quite thicker and bigger and I changed it because it didn't really suit the overall look of the handle. The X set was around 10 hours printing time. Then I printed the X handle separately in Form Futura Easy Wood Coconut, which looks really cool and it also smells like wood, which is nice. Mmm, tasty. Then the last batch was some of the handle pieces with these packs to connect each piece, each piece with another and the small tip, which actually has to be glued on the top of the X head. I decided to split this off because I didn't really like the fact that then you will have a lot of support material underneath and a not so clean surface. I like the trade to have a little bit of a corner even if when it's glued in. It think, I think it's better than having a rough surface and a lot of support material just for this little small corner piece. Without further ado, let's clean up the X head and then glue everything together. I will try to use my X-Acto knife because I don't have a deburring knife which would be really suitable for removing the brim. The head is now cleaned off, the brim is removed as good as I could and now let's glue together the handle. We're gonna start from the bottom. And I will be using super glue for this. The axe should be stiff enough, I think. 
The best thing about these packs is that you cannot assemble the eggs in a wrong way. Everything has to be aligned. And all the packs have the same length, so you cannot glue the wrong one in, which also is handy. Now we only have to wait a couple of minutes and the super glue should be set and then we can glue on the axe head. Let's put on the tip on the corner. You only need a small drip of super glue here. And try to not glue your fingers to the axe. The tip is glued on right now and I think once the glue is fully set I will sand the edges a little bit to make a smoother look. Now let's glue on the egg set as everything is set. And the best way I think to do is not to put glue inside of here and inside of here, but to insert the egg set already a little bit, then smear the glue all over the place and then just put it in repeatedly and then let it sit because the tip is sticking out a little bit and if you put the glue there, you will have the glue all over the place. If you don't want to finish it, you will see the super glue, the residue and some kind of white um, flakes. If you want to finish it, then this part probably won't bother you because you're gonna um, paint it anyway. Um, but as I don't want to finish it and I think it already looks pretty cool, we will put the glue on right here. As said, everything was printed in Prusament PLA Galaxy Silver, which has some beautiful sparkles in it. So the X already looks pretty legit, like a regular X. Then the Form Futura Easy Wood Coconut adds just a special feature on top, so that you think the handle is actually made from wood. It printed fairly easy. And the handle was printed in 5 hours. The X had in total around 10 hours and all the remaining pieces around 13 hours. So 28 hours printing time with 0.2 millimeter layers. I think it turned out beautifully. If you want to check out the filament, then there will be a affiliate link in the description below. Also to the Prusa printers, because I think they are pretty reliable and do a great job. As you might have seen in the close-up, there is some white residue coming out of the X head and that's due to the fact that the super glue actually is still drying. It will take a couple of hours until the whole stuff which I smeared in there will be fully set. The best thing I have found to uh, remove these are baby wipes because somehow baby wipes remove everything, even super glue, if you rub uh, long enough. <laughs> it's kind of insane because baby wipes should be uh, used to clean your babies behind um, but they also are useful to remove as said anything else from anywhere as said in the beginning if you need the files or if you need a 3d printed kit go to the description below and check out the link to my Etsy shop this was everything for today it will not be finished as I think this one is already looking pretty good, so if you like this video, then leave me a comment in the comment section below, leave me a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to my channel to support this channel. This video was not sponsored in any way and to conclude everything, I want to thank you for watching, have a nice day and goodbye.